Oh yeah, you see that down there? Right there, guys. That's Mystery Island. It's probably one of the smallest islands I've ever been on. We're here on a celebrity cruise line called The Edge. They kind of park in the middle of the water here. And then you take a little boat from the ship over to Mystery Island. This is the mainland here on the left. I don't know the name of it, but I don't think anybody's actually living there. Oh, there's one of the boats now coming down. So we're gonna head over to Mystery Island and we're gonna see what kind of mysteries are on Mystery Island, as corny as it sounds. All right, let's do it. Let's check it out now. So why is this island a Mystery Island? Supposedly, when Queen Elizabeth II visited in 1974, she was confused on like, oh, which island is this? And then no one really could give her an answer, so the island became a mystery, so henceforth, a Mystery Island. So coming up to the island here, actually no one lives on the island, No one, it's not inhabited by anyone. People live here uh, month to month only during cruising events, or cruising seasons per se. Majority of the population live on the main island of Vanuatu. Mystery Island Airport has to be the best airport because there's no TSA, you just walk in, you get on a plane, you hit the runway, and you're out of here. <laughs> Dope. This has to be the world's smallest airport. It's as big as a studio. Maybe a one bedroom bath. Crazy. I want to see this thing take off though. Look how gorgeous the view is of this airport. Look at this. <laughs> what? Insane. How gorgeous is this? Yeah, I wouldn't mind this being my backyard. And I don't, I don't think there's no buildings on this island over here, too. Maybe like... It's kind of gorgeous when it's like uninhabited. There's maybe like a number of buildings you can see on shore, but there's no trees taken down. Everything's just the way it's supposed to be. It's kind of wild. Cracking up to the coconut. Oh, someone's already been cracking. So right now, they're clearing the guests. You can walk your family right up to the door of the airplane. They're clearing out guests. They're making sure all everybody's far away from everything. This is insane. It's probably the only airport that I've ever seen that you could walk off the beach, <laughs> hit the airport, and get on a plane and get out of here. This is crazy. I can't wait to see this thing take off. Though. <laughs> Look at the view of this airport. I can't. Gorgeous. I have no idea where they're going though. But they're gonna clear everybody off this, this old path right here, so you can still watch them take off. They're gonna go down this runway here. It's all grass. It's a straight field. There's no lanes, there's no runway, it's just an open path. It's so dope. I think they're gonna make us like sit up and stand off onto the sidewalk walk path here. This is wild. Oh, it's an air taxi, so I guess it's easy to kind of just get your stuff. <laughs> is this the world's smallest airport? Or <laughs> How big is this runway? No idea, right? Enough for a plane to land, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good, bro. <laughs> so everybody's kind of like, this is your security. The guys kind of watch the runway and make sure no one goes further up. So you got to stand off to the side. <laughs> it's kind of calm. 
<laughs> Everybody was gathered coming off the beach just to watch this plane take off. This is insane. Wheels up? Oh, not yet. It's kind of close to the edge there, though. Fuck, fuck. Are they coming back around this way? No way. <laughs> That's insane. That they're coming back around this way to take off. That is insane. <laughs>